Hi, it's Liz here. In this session, we will consider the benefits of peer intervision and how we can use it to support our development as educative mentors. Peer intervision is a peer activity where a small group of mentors who share a professional context or a challenge in common spend a, a short period of time together exchanging with each other rather than being supervised and it's an opportunity where you can get some new ideas and other people's experience to help you address some of the issues in your own work context. So mentors are discussing issues that they're experiencing in school as equals without any anxiety about uh, being open um, and showing the things that they are finding challenging. It's a very simple format and structure and takes place over a short period of time and it's an important trigger for experiential learning. So what does peer intervention look like? Well, there are five steps. Firstly, a mentor shares a real issue that they're experiencing in their practice and they are the owner. The other mentors ask questions so that they really understand what the situation is in their own minds. Then the mentors start to offer ideas for action and the owner listens and doesn't make any comments. The group of mentors then make a, a quick synthesis and summarise what they think and formulate one or two recommendations for the owner. And finally, the owner debriefs as they think about these questions. What did I hear the other mentors saying? What do I make of it? And what will I take with me into my practice? In the end, the owner might not take any of those ideas into their practice. There might be something that was said that triggers a different line of thought for them. So altogether, this is an opportunity to take it in turns to share real issues in practice. We believe the benefits of intervision will be a feeling of connection with a group of mentors and an opportunity to develop that learning culture together sharing expertise and insights growing in our practice. It's always good to have a diversity of experience together as a source of, of new ideas and ways of dealing with things. And with the challenge of developing an educative mentoring approach, it will help to have the solidarity and uh, encouragement of a, a group of others who are going through that same process. And finally, it will contribute to a shared purpose as professionals and a common idea of what is really important for us. So we are looking forward to hearing back from you how you find using intervision as an approach for your own professional development as a mentor. Well, there are two possible ways that you could join a peer intervision group apart from actually creating one yourself using these guidelines. Uh, the first would be to ask your professional mentor if they can organise this opportunity for you with the other mentors who are in your school or group of schools, um, because it's important that um, there isn't a sense of hierarchy in the group. Um, it may be that the, you ask the professional mentor just to uh, facilitate the process on the first time and then not to come at all. Um, a second way is that you can contact me uh, to ask to join an online intervision group and when I have uh, uh, a small group of mentors that have contacted me then I will um, get the process started for them. So just to summarise, what you need to do if you join an intervision group is before you come identify a challenge to share. When you're in the group decide how long will be dedicated to each person. The first person shares their challenge 
Others take it in turns around the group to contribute their ideas on how this challenge could be addressed. You have a chance for everyone to contribute and then you decide one or two recommendations for person A. And person A has a chance to summarise what they've heard and what they're going to take away. After everyone has shared their challenge, please review how you find the intervision session and what you've learnt from the process. And uh, we welcome your feedback. So thank you for uh, listening to this little introduction about peer intervision. If you'd like to know a little bit more, there's a useful website and the link is here.